Joseph's uh, question is uh, uh, comes from uh, the the eighth uh, no dream discourse where you say um, we could uh, ask uh, if we are not we are not very uh, we can interpret our dreams maybe we can consult others who are, are good dreamers who can who can uh, throw light on the, our dreams so that we can understand life better so Joseph uh, is wondering uh, we are already in the new presentation who and uh, it's supposed that uh, uh, our understanding and awareness is higher so how do we go now consulting uh, medicine men uh, uh, shamans and uh, uh, clairvoyants and, and all the like uh, does it not contradict the uh, high uh, um, station that uh, we have reached in our awareness? It will be like uh, backpedaling uh, once more. So what do you say about that? Okay, first of all, again, you use the ideas higher and lower. Uh, again, you got this from the corporation. There's no such thing. Okay, life is an isness. You see, and as you keep using these references, things are going to stay the same. You know, it's just like in the business world, and people want to su succeed, but they can't because again, they keep using the same references. There is no higher or lower. We're not beyond anybody. And guess what? All of life is. So what does that tell you? It's so simple. Everything is available. All you have to do is recognize it. So it's not about, see, we do not discriminate. You know, yes, I see the people out there. I'm simply warning people and trying to educate them, uh, those that are willing, about what's going on. But the same thing if it's a shaman, if it's Harry, if it's the president, if it's the pope, if it's grandma down the street, you know, Simply listen to all of life, and guess what? Then creatively make sense of it, because it's always right in front of you. You see? We don't need all this little funny stuff anymore. In other words, yes, uh, you know, Paul set it up a particular way, just like Chris went through boot camp, okay? He was told, he was yelled at, he was screamed at, you do this, you do that, you shut up, you don't do what you don't do anything you're not told to do, you don't think, you don't do nothing. Okay? And so yes, we went through that discipline just like our parents. You know, it's funny again, you know, parents don't see their children. I was objective. I learned I taught myself objectivity with everything that I do, the best that I can. It's not perfect because you have free will. Parents do not see their children. Parents are mainly giving their children orders. Do this, do that, make your bed, clean up, go to school. These are always orders. This is what the child sees. And at a certain point, the child resists. So, uh, you know, I taught my daughter to, uh, you know, do things accordingly that made sense the best that I could and I taught her to be self-sufficient you know so again uh, you know everything implies this is why we're doing everything and remember uh, many many skypes back you know when uh, we created these pictures of Harry and Joni and this stuff and whatever you know really these were warnings to we were just testing the waters to see if the corporate members, oh yeah, it riles up the nest a little bit, but we were trying to warn them. But the idea was is that, oh, you're attacking them. You're doing this stuff or whatever. Well, again, uh, we went through that explanation. And so again, we're all on the same planet and actually, and it's all ca catching up to them because they have the lawsuit and other things. But they're adding to the demise of the planet. I'm just trying to say to people, hey, wake up, because you're adding to the demise of the planet. And hey, I'm on this planet too. You know, but most people, they don't care to listen. 
So um, you're going to get the answer to anything you need. I listen to uh, the words of every person and what they say. And so this becomes the adventure every moment. It's not about, oh, the shaman is this or the, the Christians are this or that. Hey, I'm fine with everything. I keep saying that. Fine with everything. We do not negate anything. We really don't. That's the idea. So when you're saying that, well, this doesn't apply to the new presentation or whatever, you're actually creating discrimination. We don't discriminate. Everything's fine. Bring it on. Where I'm here to confront it, and even, you know, as people, I see some of the funny stuff people put out there, and sometimes Ava will say, you know, oh, look what such and such did. And I say, you know what, we're not policemen, Ava. The thing being is, is that, fine, I'll deal with it. I don't care what they say. I don't care if people say, oh, Dwayne's the biggest liar in the world, etc. And I hear that, I hear that too from different people. It's fine, I'll deal with it. Because again... What's so cool about the isness is, is that when you recognize it, the confrontation becomes your ally. It really does. But you have to recognize how this works. It's so cool to where that everything now works for you. But it's recognizing it. Look at the people that take, you know, old tin cans. And they make solar panels out of them. They build cars. They do whatever out of tin cans. You know, hemp into cars and whatever, you see? The thing is, is that it's how you see it. And so, you know, what I'm, what I'm uh, presenting out there is mainly most of the time a warning. And it's not that we're better than them. Uh, it's not about that. Well, yes, we have the awareness, so you utilize the awareness. But uh, uh, everything is fine. You're going to get something from everything. Yeah. And that becomes the challenge. Are you ready to take on the challenge? And again, that's the risk taker position. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is where we're making it fun. See, we're not for or against anything realistically. And that's, again, why did I call it new presentation? Because it's just a presentation. We're not a category. See, it's interesting to note. I mean, I can just go on and on with this. And I know you have a lot of translation to do, and uh, the translation gets mixed. But you look at the world. Look at the world that's put itself in categories. Politics, religion, spiritual, past, science, education, whatever. Okay, business world, etc. You know what? They all discriminate against each other. They're all wrestling with each other. Even in the corporate structure, when you have all the employees, the executives, the VPs, hey, they're all, they're all, you know, conniving to get to take over some position or eventually get rid of the CEO, like in the movie uh, 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 Jack Black, etc. It's like trying to get rid of them, etc. You know, it's always this conniving stuff. It's always this discrimination and whatever. And what we're, what we're deciding and creating here is that it's going to work for everybody. And this seems to be a big question. So in other words, the isness life is when you recognize this, you'll see that everything is okay Everything is available. You just have to learn to kind of fit into this. And pretty soon you recognize that, hey, I'm okay with everything and it all works. And this is where, this is actually your protection. This is how you protect yourself because now you're no longer the effect of everything. So all those little attitudes that are so precious to you where you're self-convinced, guess what? You don't need them anymore because they don't work anyhow. They just seem to work. They were nice and cozy or whatever. And all those little tap lines and stuff, you don't need them anymore because you're like the sun shining. Yes. Yeah, we're fine with everything. So again, make the choice. Step up, face life as it is. When you face life, because life, the isness life is, is pure sincerity. 
so where is the flaw? And when you face that and you stand real with it, well, you become that also. Gee, that makes sense to me. You see, it's making sense of things. And you can do whatever you want in creation. And I suggest to do something wonderful for everyone because you're included. Uh, Joseph has a, a two dream uh, visions that uh, he wants uh, some light shed on. He says in the first dream, in the first uh, a real side experience, uh, he left uh, Kinshasa to visit his uh, brother uh, who is uh, 40 kilometers away from Kinshasa. And uh, it happened that they passed the night. Uh, he passed the night there with him. And uh, in the morning, uh, his brother recounted uh, uh, his uh, dream vision and that uh, it appears the, uh, together with uh, his uh, brother, uh, his older brother, they came to uh, uh, the meeting place where the, the Congo uh, uh, new friends have their, their meetings. And then um, as they were approaching there, uh, as they came uh, on the premises, so Mariam came out, uh, she came out like a queen um, from uh, her chambers and um, uh, used some powder to, to on the faces of uh, everyone who, who was there. Who came for the for for, for the uh, to the premises for for uh, no activities? So um, so Mariam adds that uh, in the African tradition, when you go to a ceremony and you you uh, and you are powdered, uh, especially white powder, it shows uh, some. Uh, some importance it gives some importance to the uh, to the to the occasion. It shows us an important thing, and it shows some some honor, and it's, it's a, some kind of uh, blessings or something like that. So uh, he wants to know how. Uh, what is your opinion about this? And then in his own dream himself, uh, Joseph. Uh, uh, came to the uh, to their meeting point um, where they do activities uh, in Congo, and um, he was a little bit uh, uh, late, as he said. And when he arrived, he realized that uh, Mariam had given uh, gifts to uh, to the guys who who came. Earlier, uh, she gave them watches, and it appears also some money. So he came and uh, uh, and uh, was a little uh, was a little taken aback uh, because uh, uh, he hadn't uh, this uh, this this gift too. So Madam told him not to be dejected in any way. And uh, she rushed in and brought uh, the same uh, things, brought him a very good watch, and uh, and he uh, extended his left hand for the for, for her to uh, to put the watch on, to wear the watch on, uh, but Marianne said no, he should present his right hand, and so. Uh, in Joseph's uh, village, in Joseph's hometown, the right hand is considered um, rather important for uh, it's it's a symbol of uh, strength um, and power or something like that. So Mariam decided to put uh, to wear the, the the watch on his right hand and. Uh, also, uh, 
of course, gave him his own part of the money. So he wants to know, what do you think about this kind of, of dream? How, what, what, what sense can he make out of it? Okay, in the first part, he uh, meets his brother, right? He goes on a yeah. trip and he meets his older brother. Okay, and the older his, brother... His younger brother, younger brother. It's his younger brother. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the idea is they go to see Miriam. Yeah, who uh, who comes out from her chambers like, uh, he says, like a queen and uh, is... Right. Has he powders uh, everybody who comes to the to the meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I get it. All right. So the younger brother is his little self. All right. If it was mm -hmm. the older brother, it would be one of the guys. But it's his younger. It's his little self is what he's taking there. And the powder, yes, the powder idea is used uh, in a traditional fashion according to whatever I get that okay as a special person but here in this experience the powder means that those who have the powder can recognize each other you see now it's recognition you recognize those people you might say that are more aware you see and so yes there's an earning there and the watch uh, again, it's what is the idea? It's a watch and it's time. So watch the time. And the right hand, okay, instead of the left hand, the left side, you're, we, we're all uh, left and right, okay? The left side of ourselves is literal. The right side is creative, okay? So that's the part that ignites. In other words, yes, it goes on the right hand and the watches represent time. You only have so much time. So pay attention. This is what she's telling everybody. You see? 